Imagine I'm waking up to shoot content for y'all. I haven't eaten breakfast or nothing. But I'm here on set creating content. But that is what it is. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tija Hussein Petika and this is my channel. If you are new, please don't forget to subscribe down below and be part of the Empire. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi Empire Mia. Welcome back. It's been another two months. I feel like this is an ongoing routine. I shoot content and then I disappear for two months and I come back after that two months and I'm like, welcome back. <laughs> I come back. But again, um, Man, there's a lot that happened and I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get into it during this video because this video is like a combined video because I just don't want to do the other one alone and then I did the other one alone. So I decided let me just chow, you know what? Let me combine the two videos together. And man, there's a lot that was happening, but before we get into that, please don't forget to subscribe down below and be part of the empire. Put your post notifications on, like this video before you even watch, because I'm gonna be giving you bomb content, child. Um Follow me on all my social media platforms. It's at TJ underscore R-U-P. Even if you took notes, the channel has changed the name from Living with MZK to TJ R-U-P. I feel like that's what I'm known on my all my other social media platforms for now. So like, for example, now you're following me on Instagram and then I put something like, oh, I've got a new video on my channel and you go search TJ R-U-P and tell, I get go. I got one of my It's nowhere to be found. So I'm like, let me just change and be known with the same name on all my social media platforms because it's going to be easier for people to find me and it's just going to be easier for me whenever I need to answer something of it's a long person and it's just easier so please take note it's no more living with NZK it's rather known as TJRUP let me just check if this video is still shooting child. shooting even when I was shooting this video I was testing out a new mic that I bought I've shot with this mic before for a presentation and then it was better but now I'm shooting with this mic and it's just giving me, oh my gosh, it's just, it's picking up static sound around me. So like, if I'm not speaking, it's going to go zzzz. If I'm speaking, it's going to give a slight zzzz, but not too much. So I'm just like, let me take it out. My sound isn't bad anyways. You know the vibes. So this video, let me stop rambling. This video is basically an update. Another life update, you know, where I've been, what I've been up to, and then later on in the video, I'm going to give you guys a, like, a sandals hold you guys saw in, in the thing, in the title above. So basically, man, I feel like life has a life to me. Life is a river. You know, as a, I would say, as a content creator, you're not always wanting and willing to be in front of the camera. It's not always exciting to sit down and shoot content. Yes, people are often, have asked me, where have I been when I'm uh, dropping content? It's not as easy as it looks like. Y'all see the easy side of things, like y'all see a perfectly edited video, y'all see me sitting here happy, happy. I'm not always going to be willing to sit down and be like, ah, oh, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's not always easy. But even now today, because yesterday I decided, okay, TJ, you're going to wake up tomorrow and you're going to shoot content. But then something happened yesterday that just made me off. And then when I woke up today, I was just like, ciao. Do I really want to do this? And I'm like, nah, I gotta do this. So I just watched a video from Italy in that was like, okay, it's gonna inspire you guys. I feel like as a teen, you don't know how life is gonna, how life is gonna become, how life is gonna life you. Because I feel like as a teen, you're not taught by you just learn as you go and sometimes it's not hard when you have like a downfall to pick yourself up and be like, it's okay, child it's okay child. and you're not always willing to speak to somebody about your problem sometimes you just need to life them alone and not life them with other people's perspectives because sometimes you're going to be getting like advice different advice to so many people like i'm oh, sorry you're going to be getting different advice to so many people and you're just going to be like child which one should i use so sometimes you just need to take a step back and you just need to life life the way life is lifing i don't know if that makes sense but there's a there's a thing that i always there's a thing that I always go by that is like, sorry, I was hearing something. Life is a river and you never know if the river is going to flow smoothly or it's going to be a rough current. You never know if it's going to be a high tide, if it's going to be a low tide. Even I was on, on Twitter and I was also, what's it called? There was a video that said, life is a roller coaster. And I feel like I heard that, you know, you're going to be like going up. I feel like it's going to be the hardest.
going up it's going to be the hardest staying at the top it's going to be fun but going down it's also going to be the easiest do i don't know if that makes sense going up is the hardest for you to get into the pinnacle of the top of the roller coaster but going down is going to be the easiest and when you're down or when you're going up don't always think that when you get to the top it's going to be fun and nice because that ride could be sh that top ride could be short it could just <clears throat> you get what i'm trying to say i don't know if that makes sense so for me that resonates was like oh child i hear you i hear you on a 100 percent so from the bottom of my heart i apologize for giving you guys for not giving you guys content and I said goals, I wanted to be at 500 subscribers by the middle of the year. It's the middle of the year, child. And I'm not dead. And it's not, it's not a train smash for me. I'm just like, just work harder to get to your pinnacle, uh, to the pinnacle of your goal, you know? So I feel like, let me stop rambling on. I gave y'all enough. Let's get into the teeths and the dives of what this video is truly about. So in the second part of the video, I'm going to be giving guys a sunglass haul use the sunglass needs that you need in your closet sunglasses that are kind of out of fashion sunglasses that will forever be in fashion sunglasses that are that are fashion segment in this way ciao let's get into this video so right in front of me i got most of my sunglasses the only sunglasses that are missing are two pairs but i'm gonna pop up videos on the screen when i explain those sunglasses so these are my sunglasses that i have right now i had a bigger collection but as of years ago i lose some of those collections so these are my sunglasses child if you're a sunglass brand and you've seen this video please sponsor me please sponsor me so i'll start so each sunglass i'll explain and i'll be like is it in fashion will it forever stay in fashion will it end in fashion you know what it mean so my first sunglass oh child please excuse the dust are these cotton on black sunglasses so one thing i can say for cotton on child they are a beautiful reasonable price but the quality isn't the best like you wear them for me when i buy sunglasses i expect them to last me for like more than a year if not two years because i buy sunglasses that i know that i'm gonna wear for a while so even with these cotton sunglasses they lose i haven't even owned them for a year but they lose child they lose it's not even a year yet the year is only gonna start in september but they lose but i would say these are like one of my favorite favorite pairs they go with almost everything because of the shape and one thing about when black sunglasses black sunglasses you can never have enough black sunglasses like you even see my collection i've got like four pairs if not five four pairs of black sunglasses like you'll never go wrong with sunglasses so i feel like these are a statement piece but they go with almost everything and they buy them one thing i can tell you about cotton on they always have sales of sunglasses like you can get two for 210 and for sunglasses that's like a buy that's like a buy so these are my first pair of black sunglasses it's a must have i say go buy them child go buy them child i don't want to say anything but after i bought these sunglasses i saw many of y'all wearing them child i won't say anything child <laughs> my next pair are these um white cotton on glasses a friend put, bought me these from factory you can also get them one thing about factory cotton on they got the same sunglasses because they work under the same branch so you sunglasses they'll find in fact you can find them at cotton on so i got these my friend bought these for me at factory and child i was skeptical when i first got them until i wore them with my first ever outfit and it's like there's no looking back child there is no looking back these sunglasses also go with almost every single thing oh before we get into this video i hate people who wear sunglasses here sunglasses are not supposed to be into sunglasses might make cute my hair at the middle or the tip of your nose people with sunglasses here annoy the hell out of me i'm not gonna tell me sunglasses respect yourself and respect the sunglasses you're wearing child do you get me respect yourself and respect the sunglasses that you wear imagine how embarrassing that is so embarrassing are you not embarrassed so these are white um i don't know the shape child but these are white like I wouldn't say they're screw screw glasses, but they're also screw screw glasses, you know. You get those screw screw, I'll show you. I got screw screw glasses. You get those screw screw glasses. These are screw screw, but they also, you can wear them with anything. So these are my second pair. These are also, I would say, a must, must have. The first few sunglasses I'm going to go through are a must have. And then as we go through, they're not really a must have. I'll tell you when we get there. But yeah, child, those are my second one. The third pair are these ones. These are from. Factory, yes, these are from factory. 
these kind of shapes you can always find them at factory cotton on the number these kind of pairs that's what i've noticed by the time i, I, I don't always got, got time to go to baywish child to go to factory so i'm sure you can also find them at cotton on i had a black pair with these and this video i'm gonna tell you cotton on the factory quality is a pet there's a beautiful sunglasses child but don't expect them to last for long one thing about these glasses, I can say they crack at the bottom. You see, there's even a crack. There. I don't know if you can see it. Sorry for the dirty sunglass lens, but there's a crack there. And child, there's even a crack there. There's, there's this is also gonna crack here. One thing about factory and sunglass, factory and cotton on, you need to keep them safe because they quality are pits, but they are beautiful as sunglasses. And I will carry on buying them until I got money to go buy a sunglass on child. So these are also a must have because of the kind of shape that they have. They will fit every face shape because they're not really square. They're like a square that goes in. So I feel like they're gonna fit. They're gonna fit in most type of face shapes. So these are a must have, child. This color though, I wouldn't say it's a must have because this green doesn't go with everything, child. I struggle to match this green with everything, but the black color shapes kiss. Then I got this pair. These are Tom Ford. I got them in Turkey. These are Tom Ford. Um, the nice thing about these are like it's a it's a brown and it goes with everything but the downfall is is the shape so it's not gonna fit for every type of face shape like for me I've got a face shape that most sunglasses will fit on my shape you know so I've got a nice face shape so it won't fit for everybody like sometimes you're gonna see people wearing big sunglasses and they're gonna look like an ant you know what a type of feel and i was also called out before looking like an ant with some sunglasses and, I, and it's the next pair child i got bashed for that that those sunglasses but these like this type of shape this type of color is a must have because it's a very subtle you can wear it fancy you can wear it chilled you can wear it oh i'm going shopping it's that type i don't know if you watch the exx has some glasses like this and she always wears them like shopping but you can also dress them up these are those type of shades these are tom ford then the next ones are these these are spitfire spitfire is no longer in south africa but you can order it online from what i've heard but i'm not ordering sunglasses online from spitfire child i'm not really so these are like a silver so these give me bonang vibes these bonang aka who else but these give me very bonang vibes i don't know if you know bonang silver shades that she 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 loves wearing all those black ones these give me bonang vibes child the first time i wore these i got bashed because Go to us in the middle and then there's no manga. Y'all are shady. Y'all are shady. But these are beautiful. These are a must have. Imagine now you're wearing a black suit and child, you pop them on. Mm, you're gonna look sexy. You're gonna look fine as hell. That's all I'm saying. But these are from Spitfire. They retail. So the cotton on glasses usually retail at one one hundred and something, one fifty, one eighty. And then when it's a special, you get two for two ten. The Tom Ford, I don't know how. I don't know when I, I when I translate them into rands. These were like two ten. These were two ten. Yes, these were two ten. And then a the next pair are these dual ones they are must have i've got them in both silver these are the silver ones i put the black ones on screen these are beautiful these ah beautiful <coughs> and i don't wear them all the time child i need to wear them when i feel sexy when i feel like disney you get me so these are a must have i also don't know when i translate them into red how much you're gonna retail for but these are ever so beautiful i saw the i saw the black ones and then i saw the silver ones i'm like i gotta get both of them child and another thing <sighs> my siblings are always their fingers are always in my sunglasses child so every sunglass i purchase just know that it might not be in your closet for a while tj it might go live in another person's closet that stays in your home child so these are also a must must have and then we go into these ah! what are these baby baby these two uh, i had to get them in both colors these are like an orange yellow and then these are like a blue so when i saw them at yde i had to get them both but then i looked at the price why de it's expensive you could get that and you're gonna see shades for 14. these were 14 and i was like i'm buying them i'm buying them both 
now imagine i don't know if they're 14 or two something they're either two something or 14 and i was like i'm buying them i am buying them i'm gonna buy them with my chicks i'm gonna go home and go sob but i know the outfits that are gonna come out of this and you saw the first time i wore these were with my birthday photo shoot and then i wore these i haven't worn these in a picture these ones are the one that i've worn in the picture and they're like a must have like if you want to sleep with sunglasses get these baby you'll never go wrong you'll never look back after you purchase them yeah you might cry the day you purchase them but baby it's okay i want this video to be really really long another must have piece i would say are these sunglasses this shape will never go out of fashion the first time I saw this shape was on the Kardashians. Chloe loved, loved, loved the shape. I feel like the shape will never go out of fashion, no matter what happens in life. Yeah, many people don't wear them anymore, but they will never go out of fashion. This also got a Spitfire retail for like 150, if not 90 rands. Because I know one thing about Spitfire, you to get good as quality. Spitfire's quality. They had quality, but they were very affordable. Like these were 90 rand, but they were of day quality. I've had these since 2018. The date is now 2021. Imagine. The only thing is that they have free scratches, but that's because of me and not taking care of my sunglasses. But the quality, child, I, w I haven't even complained about this. This is one thing that people will forever complain about in sunglasses is this. I haven't even complained about it. I haven't, haven't, haven't complained about it. The next must-have for me are these clear glasses. One thing, these are from Markham's. They were retailing for like 180, 200 yeah something around that line but it didn't pass 300 or like 200 is that's one thing i can tell you it didn't pass 200 these for me are a must-have because of the type of fashion that i wear so sometimes i'm gonna wear some blazer so and then i need something that's gonna give me that office type of thing that thing i'm gonna go secure a bag the first time i actually wore these out were on um some of nene um interview and i feel like it gave me that fashion that you're going to secure a bag child you're not getting paid but it's giving secure the bag it's giving secure the bag so if you're a person who likes clear clear glasses i feel like having a black frame clear glass it's a very important it's a very 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 important the next ones i struggled to style these at the beginning but then i had to buy them but i struggled to style them at the beginning but as the years goes i feel like okay i can style it this way i can style it this way these are total sport these are these are got them from total sport you can see that there are a few scratches because i don't take care of my sunglasses these are red bats they're from total sport they were retailing for like 100 and something right more than 150 but not more than one not more than 150 not more than 200 these are red bad they're like a green tint this green light is going to give me a headache they're green tint these are absolutely to die for the next must-haves okay the must-haves are done oh, no 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 yes the must-haves are done now we're going to go into playful screw screw type one playful clear lens glasses are these ones Liam got me these um I haven't worn them yet because I don't know how to. And the only time it fits me when I have like when my hair's like this, some long hair, some afro type of vibe, that's when they actually suit me. Like when I cut my hair, child, I look like an ant. I look like an ant, but I absolutely love these. Some be money. One day I'll be able to style these and they're gonna look phenomenal. But these are like a clear lens and it's also a clear frame so these are like beautiful i'll forever have these but i never know how to st actually style them in the young i've been a monitor you you keep going up and going to check if your thing is shooting these i also feel like these were a must have years ago but they're kind of out of fashion now if i can say this yellow frame is out of fashion it was in fashion 2018 2019 yes 2018 2019 it was in fashion and then after that it became out of fashion child Ooh! that's how you'll hardly see me wear them because it's out of fashion these were from mr price they retail for less than 100 rand. i know mr price the quality is also amazing but the only downfall is that they kind of skew so like when i put them on you're gonna see like it goes like that that's the only downfall about them but other than that it's good quality and i've had them for a while the only one thing that you're going to notice about my glasses that most some of them okay let me know if you're saying some 
most of the time I have scratches on them because I don't I don't keep them in the bag. Like I get a bag for them, but as soon as I wear them the first time, the bag is gone. The bag is gone. Another fun quirky one that I've only worn like during December of twenty. Was it 2019? December 2018, 2019. Was it 2018? I think it was December of 2018 with these. I got these from Mr. Price. I loved them. I loved them. Not anymore because of the type of shape they are. And when they're on my face, they look kind of weird because they're such a small frame. And then the way they design, it's also small here. So when you wear them, this will go like this. I don't know if you can see this will go like this that's the only downfall about them when we go to another fan one these were in fashion 2017 2018 huh? cheese boys and white boys loved these cheese boys and white boys love these your mother see boys yo 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 yeah like love these these they love these like from from 14 to like 24 white boys are wearing them your cheese boy kind of boys. Mm. Mm. These are. Child, they were to die for. They were to die for. They were to die for. Now, when we go to Squish Crew, now the next two glasses I'm going to show y'all are very Squish Crew. I had another Squish Crew. The next three ones I'm going to show you, they're very Squish Crew. I had another Squish Crew. It broke. Let's start with these. Y'all had an error with these type of glasses. And. These kitty, I feel like they still, people still wear them, but they're not really in fashion. But there was a December. Mm. They were everywhere, child. More bigger left, now go modus dogil. More bigger right, now go modus dogil. This. Y'all believe in these glasses more than you believe in myself. Not these clear ones, but the actual, the actual frame. Mm. And the next, these two are. They were, they were, I feel like they were leased with crack in them. Because y'all believed in them more than you believed in yourself. When I look back, I'm not bad at this purchase, but I'm at this one. Okay, I don't, uh, these ones, I didn't buy them myself, but my sister bought them for me. Oh, I love these. Until I got them and they arrived. And I was just like, mm, Really? These ones, I wasn't mad at them. I wore them a lot. But uh, I feel like they were less crack. Because we love them, child. So these were bought at Small Street. Govan Bakey. Small Street, Salabi, Bango, Govan Bakey. These were bought at Govan Bakey, child. There was something about them. Then these, there was a screw screw area of these. This particular silver frame. We love them. I got these at the airport. These I got at the airport. I don't know. I can't remember how much they were. These I don't know how much they were. But these I can't remember how much they were. But these. Hmm. I'm a 2000. Believed in these. And then a purchase that I don't know why I should purchase with these. I actually don't know. I wore these ones. I don't know why I bought these. I honestly. No. Uh, actually, I didn't buy these myself. My sister bought these for me. But I don't know why she bought them for me, child. And me, I only wore these ones and I never wore them again. Even the picture that I wore them is archived on my feed. Hmm. Like, these are very girly for me, I would say. These are like a very girly frame, I would say. Like, if you want these, hit me down in the comment section below because I don't want them anymore. These are like a very girly, girly frame. Because I feel like it's because of the frame and the color. They give off a very girly vibe. But they're very beachy vibes, like... Like, if you want to be sassy, I feel like you should buy these. But these are, like, a very, very goodly frame. So, I feel like I come to the end of my fashion video for today of sunglasses. There are many must-haves of these, like, the Tom Fords, the cotton. Oh, child, you see the cotton on these, these ones as well. Um, this type of shape. I would say this type of shape but not in this color and like if you want like a fun type of frame that is very statementy i would say you would go for these two frames you know if you're very screw screw but you don't want to be in people's face with your screw screw element i would say these 
I don't like them anymore, but I would say these. I would a frame like this. Or another thing, like if you screw screw, but you want to be screw screw, these are another screw screw frame that is not really screw screw. I would so say those. And that comes to the end of our sunglass video. If you truly enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe down below. If you made it this far and have not subscribed, what are you doing, baby? Please don't forget to subscribe down below. We are saying hashtag road to 500 subscribers. Go follow me on all my social media platforms. That is at tj underscore rup. That is all on, on my on. That's on all my social media platforms. That is both on Instagram as well as on Twitter. I will see you guys next time, same place. This is TJ Josela Petrika.